Hello everybody, this is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Happy Monday. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. So, I am coming live. We have an order for a sympathy piece. It's a casket cover um, for a man. And they have ordered white and blue blooms. So, that's what I thought I would put together this afternoon with you. Um, when you come on, tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing today. Tell me where you're from. We love to know that. I have Victoria with me today. And so, if you have any questions or, um, or anything, just ask those questions and Victoria will ask me and I will try to answer. Um, I am going to start out. So, this is what we call a casket saddle. It is just a plastic, um, it's just a plastic piece and you can see how it kind of has, um, it kind of, it just sits right on top of a casket. A casket usually has a um, kind of a domed um, lid and so it just sits right comfortably on that casket. It does have some slip proof so it won't slide on the casket. I have taken two pieces of Oasis foam or floral foam. It's fresh flower foam soaked it in water, and I have attached it with just some waterproof tape to this saddle, okay? Um, I am going to start out greening this arrangement with, this is called jade. Um, jade is a type of palm leaf, and we usually use it to cover our, um, to green out a casket. So I'm just going to take it and I know you've seen me do this before, but if you have any questions, please ask those questions. And I'm actually gonna work from behind the casket today. And I might have to come around, but we'll just kind of play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. So I am just taking my knife. I'm stripping a few leaves off, and I am just cutting that stem and sticking it right into the foam. Um, Frances Hamilton says she's glad to see you today. Hey, Miss Frances, I'm so glad you're here. She asks if you're feeling better. Much better, Miss Frances. Much better. I'm. It's still there, and it's still. Um, it still kind of nags, but that keeps me from overdoing it. I'm really, really bad to overdo it. And so, if it's there, and if it's telling me it's there, then I'm not going to overdo it. Um, and so it's still there. I still feel it. It's tender at night. Usually when I wake up in the, I wake up in the night two or three times, but, but it's so much better. I'm, I'm able to work. I'm here at work and I've been here all day and I've not had any problems. And so I'm feeling so much better. Thank you for asking. Hi, Miss Joanne. <laughs> So all I'm doing with this jade is I am just going to cover this entire um, piece with this greenery. And I'm just slipping some of the bottom leaves off and I'm just throwing them in the trash over here to the side. So if you hear me kind of throwing it over here to the side, it's just going right in the garbage can. Yolanda Allen asks, what's the name of that greenery? This is called jade. It's just a type of palm leaf. It's a smaller palm leaf. Um, we can get several different types of palm, but this is actually called jade. Um, and I like it. It's just a smaller variety of palm, so it's pretty easy to work with. And so I like to work with greenery first. Now, not all designers do that. Some designers go ahead and put their flowers and then they work the greenery throughout. For me, I just have always found it's so much easier to start with my greenery and then add my flowers. I just don't like to work so hard to kind of work between each flower to get some greenery in there. So I just go ahead and green it completely out. They're very happy you're feeling better. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all have been so kind. I've had several people send me messages and check on me. Y'all are so sweet to me. We sure do appreciate you all so much. Yeah, I have just, I'm just taking it easy. 
My mama calls me every morning and every afternoon. What are, are you okay? How's it going? <laughs> but I have. I've been taking it easy. I've been. I've actually been doing good. Thank you. Okay, so I've got my greenery in place. It's not completely full of greenery. I've got some more greenery I'll come back with. Um, I, I went and cut some Eliagnus that I thought would be pretty in it. Next, the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to put ribbon in the center. So I have white ribbon. This is just a white floral satin. Um, so it's, it's just a, a flower shop ribbon. It's not pretty on the back side. We use this to put on, um, on on pieces like this. We also use it for plants and different things. So I'm gonna start out with a bow in the center. I'm not gonna make it too big, but it, what it's gonna do, now I don't always put ribbons in my casket pieces, but I like ribbon sometimes because it gives us color and it helps to fill it up. It makes the casket piece look much fuller. So I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm rolling it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that center loop in the bow, okay? I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take it so it's the back side is up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard on this white background. This is the back side. So I'm gonna twist and I'm twisting to my left and I'm gonna make a loop. And I'm making a loop just like I do with any other ribbon. Now let me tell you that of all the ribbons, this is going to be the hardest to learn to make a bow. It's not as forgiving as um, wired ribbon. And it gets clumpy, doesn't it, Victoria? It's just not an easy, easy ribbon to learn to make a bow with. Um, so I'm just making my loops just like I do on any other, any other bow. And when I leave the streamers on this bow, I'm actually going to do four streamers. So I'm gonna do six loops on each side. And then I'm going to, so when I do one loop like this, it's hard, and I'll, I'll do a, another video on, on bows. So this is the end of my, um, end of my ribbon. I'm gonna take it and just make a loop, just like that. And I'm gonna cut that and make my streamers. But I'm gonna do that twice. So I have four streamers, okay? Find a pair of scissors. And I've got a piece of forest wire. I'm just running through this center loop right here. I'm gonna bend it down and tie it off. Okay, and then how I'm gonna cut those streamers. So you see, I've got those two loops down there. I'm just gonna take it, and I'm cutting it at an angle. And so that's left me with four streamers. Now I'm gonna take it to fluff it. I'm just sticking my finger and holding it down on that wire that's in, in between right there. And I'm just gonna pull these loops You see how one side's fluffed and the other side's flat? Just take it. Now the reason I'm holding that wire is because if you pull too much, you can pull your, um, your bow apart. And so there's my fluffed bow. And I take it and put it on a wood pick. I can find where I stuck that little wood pick that went here. There it is, I'll turn it. And I'm just gonna put this bow right on a wood pick. Twist, twist, twist. That wire onto the pick. Now I'm gonna take and pop that, that pick off just a little bit because it's a little long to push down in that oasis. And I'm just pushing that bow right on top. Now I know that this bow right now kind of looks like a bow on top of a gift and that is not what I want it to look like. But the reason I go ahead and put the bow into the piece now is because then I can integrate all of the flowers into the ribbon, okay? So it does, it won't look like 
um, a bow on top of a gift. Victoria, will you pass me that quick clip real quick? I always like to start out with my line flower first. So um, this is going to be blue and white, a blue and white casket piece. Thank you, sweet. So I'm gonna start out with my blue delphinium. So I have really pretty blue delphinium today. So I'm just gonna take it. I like to start with my with my outer ends. It's gonna be kind of hard for you to see in this video, but I will show you, I'll take a good picture. So I always start by cutting that line flower and putting one day, one on each end. So I've got it, I've got it going this way, okay? And then I'll take one. And I like to put one here. And here. And this blue is kind of hard to see in the video. I'm sorry, but I will take a good picture so you can see it. Here. And here. Center there. So I'm using an entire bundle of blue delphinium, and so that's um, 10 stems of blue delphinium. Thank you, Miss Valerie. It was very nice. She asks, is it hot there? It's just starting to get hot in New York. Oh, girl, is it hot. It has been so hot here, and actually our air conditioner went out at our house. <laughs> so we're going to sleep with no air tonight. But um, it is, I would say it was 88 yesterday. It's probably high 80s today. So yes, ma'am, it is so warm. But yeah, I guess it is starting to warm up in New York. We usually come, we visit New York usually in the, in the summertime. It's been a couple years, but we like to visit the city in the summertime, usually around the 4th of July. And whoa, it's so warm in the 4th of July. So these are blue hydrangeas. And we actually um, painted these hydrangeas with flower paint. So I'm just taking them, removing the foliage, I'm cutting them at an angle and I'm dipping them in quick dip over here. So I've got my little jar of quick dip. Quick dip is just a hydrating solution that you um, take and dip those hydrangeas in. What it does is it just helps to get these guys to stay hydrated for me. Tucked one there. I'm doing five stems of blue hydrangeas in this piece. Abigail Freeman says, hi girls, watching from Barcelona today on a little break, and she sent 50 stars. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. We are so glad you're here. So you can see how I'm going to nestle this little hydrangea right here into this bow. So that's the reason I like to put the ribbon in, is because you can kind of nestle the flowers right into the ribbon, so it doesn't look like a, a bow on a gift. Next, I'm going to come in with some large white lilies. These are um, oriental lilies. They'll open up really open and they smell pretty, but they're not an overwhelming fragrance. So I'm gonna tuck some of those in. I think I have eight stems of these. Bernice Carter asks, did your customer ask for ribbon? Um, my customer asked for ribbon on the standing spray. So we've actually got two pieces for this um, funeral and the spray is going to be a matching piece and they wanted ribbon um, ribbon on the standing spray, so that's why I incorporated ribbon in the casket cover. Nancy Potts asks, how is your shoulder doing? It's better, Miss Nancy, it's better. Thank you so much. Yeah, one day at a time. It's not completely well, but it is, um, it's much better. <laughs> much better, yes ma'am. Thank you. 
All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six stems of the white lilies. Here's number seven. Let's tuck him in. All right, so seven lilies, and then I love these. These are moms. So this is, I'm going to have to be careful because I'm going to break in. This is a football mom. So you can see how large it is, a real large-faced mom. I love moms. Um, but look, that's a really pretty mom. So I'm going to take those and tuck those in. Now, I'm not used to making an arrangement from the back side of a casket piece. And so, if there are any empty places, no worries. I am going to, after the video, make sure that everything looks pretty and I will adjust as needed. Um, but it, I'm... I just know that it's not so easy for you to see what I'm doing when I stand in front of the, with my back toward you. So that's why I've got it, I'm doing it this way today. Miss Valerie says this is looking beautiful. Did you try Icy Hot for your shoulder? Yes, ma'am, I, I sure did. Or it was called BioFreeze, but yes, ma'am. And then I had a um, patch that kind of did the same thing. Um, but yes, it was wonderful. <laughs> it has really helped. And I've iced it and I've, um, I've used heat and ice and all the things. <laughs> I smelled like a medicine cabinet, didn't I, Victoria? <laughs> a little bit, but that's okay. If I feel better, that's all that mattered. Oh, that's a pretty mom. So you have to be careful. So this is how the moms are delivered. So they have this little net that goes over the mom so that it won't break. So when you go to pull it off, if you pulled it by just the, the little net, sometimes it'll pull the heads off. And so I needed to be very careful not to pull its head off. So I removed that net and that way, um, when they put that net on, it just helps. A mom can damage so easily. Um, if it gets bumped, it'll damage pretty easily. And so you have to be careful with them. And um, so you just saw me removing the net and that's how they're delivered, which is nice. So these are just white daisies, some pretty little white daisies. I thought that would fill in some space. So I'm just taking those and I'm gonna sprinkle those here and there. white roses and some blue thistle. His favorite color was blue and he really liked gardenias. Gardenias are not a flower that we really put into floral arrangements because they damage so easily. They're a lot like a, a magnolia where if you touch the flowers they'll brown. And so we don't use gardenias much in floral design. I know years and years and years ago they did, but we don't. I don't use them ever here. I like them. They smell beautiful, but I don't. Um, I don't design with them. of white daisies that I tucked in. And then these are white roses. This is actually a mondial rose, just a pretty white rose bud. I love the variety mondial. It's a hearty, hearty rose and it opens up pretty. This is the white rose I like to carry at Valentine's Day because I have never had any issues with their quality. Such a good hearty rose. Are those bluebells? I love the color of them. They're actually, this is called delphinium. It's a blue delphinium. 
and it is such a pretty blue. Yes, ma'am. Now, Delphinium comes in a baby blue and a royal blue, like you see today. Um, and then it comes whites and it comes purples, but it's really a really pretty blue flower. There are not very many flowers that are true blue. And so, which I'm not sure why. Because blue is a beautiful color. I am just taking the flowers and cutting them and just tucking them in. I don't put as many flowers on the back side, but I am making sure that there are a few flowers back here on the back. But most often you don't see the back side, but you don't want it to be empty either. Okay, so now we'll come in with our thistle. So this is called blue thistle. Just a really pretty blue flower. Um, it's, I'm sure people would think it was a weed, but I love it. <laughs> it's kind of a little prickly. It's an interesting looking little filler flower. So I'm gonna take some of that thistle and tuck it in. gonna bump that mom and if I bump him he'll break so I have to be careful with him but you can see how that that white ribbon just kind of fills in some of that space right there in the center. So it's just not, it's just not dark greenery. Just kind of fills it up just a little bit to give us some color there. All right, so all of my flowers are in place. Next, I went out and cut just a little bit of Iliagnus. So Iliagnus is kind of a, a pretty greenery. Um, it grows on a shrub here. And so I actually just have it, I have it planted right outside in the flower shop yard. I have some planted at home too, because we really like it. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just removing the bottom stems there. And all I'm gonna do is just add this little bit of a, a little bit of a line or a wispy kind of look to this casket piece. Some scissors or some snips. I will say since I hurt my shoulder, I'm having issues with strength. So my hand's not, <laughs> not as strong as it has been and I know it'll come back, it just takes time, so. So using a knife sometimes on a woody stem is a little harder. So I'm just taking this little bit of Iliagnus, I'm stripping those stems. Ms. Valerie says the ribbon also makes it look softer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I agree, it does. Thank you. Miss Joan Hi says, this is beautiful, love the touch of blue. Thank you, ma'am. So this one's kind of bent, so I'm gonna do my best to just, I may just cut him short and tuck him right down deep. You can see how see how short that one is. I'm just gonna tuck it right down in, in the back. And it's just giving us another texture of greenery. And what's so nice is it's growing in the yard, so it's free. So I don't, I don't charge for the greenery, but it's just a pretty added touch, you know. So you feel like you get more for your money when you get some free added greenery in there. 
Miss Valerie asks, is the matching piece of staining spray? It is, yes ma'am. I'll take a picture of that and show it to you. Callie actually um, did it in the other room. And so, yes ma'am, we'll take a picture so you can see it. All right, so I've just about got it. There we go. So this is a casket piece. And I don't know if you can see it. I'll pull it back just a little bit so you can kind of see it. So that's the entire casket piece. So you can see where we kind of put flowers all the way around. I did put a few flowers on the back side. Oh, I'm spilling it. A few flowers on the back side, but not quite as many as are on the front. I just don't ever want it to be um, with no flowers, just empty on the back side. But it really is a very pretty, I love the color, the color palette. It's really pretty together. Anybody got any questions or anything you want to know real quick before we jump off? Uh, Miss Lenise asks, where do you buy the shrubbery that you are adding now? So this is, um, you can buy it at the garden center. It's called Illy Agnes, um, and it gets really big, so you have to be careful. Like, um, our lawn guys always want to cut it back. They're the world's worst to go out there and cut it back. So we have to, every once in a while, they'll get out there trimming it up, and you'll have to tell them to leave it alone. Um, but we use it often, so ours doesn't get too out of hand. Um, but it, it puts off long, how do you say, kind of tendrils. It's just real long limbs it'll put off in the spring. And so it has been a very nice foliage to use. We um, don't only use it in funeral work, we use it a lot in wedding work. Like if I wanted to do um, an arbor, if you've seen me do um, arbor work, You've seen me use Illy Agnes. The wonderful thing about Illy Agnes is it holds up so well. It holds up out of water really well. And so we'll use it on arbors and we'll use it on railings and different things. It's just a really nice greenery. It's kind of a gray green. And when you flip it over, it even has like little gold speckles on the back. It's just really nice. It's good stuff. Um, Johanna Allen asks, where do you get your flowers? My flowers, I buy directly from a grower. Um, and so we buy all of our flowers are South American flowers and so um, which means they're all grown in South America I do get a few California grown flowers and then we get a few local flowers um, but 98% of our flowers are going to be South American grown uh, Ms. Pam asks what would the cost be on a casket piece like this? They range in price um, and this one was 300 but they range in price. They start as small as two to 250 and then they go up to as large as six to 650 So they really range in price. It just depends on, on how full you'd like it. Um, but yes, ma'am. And then Miss Leah asks, how do you, how do you use your knife so you don't cut yourself? <laughs> I have been doing this for 25 years and I will tell you that every once in a blue moon I will cut myself but um, it's just practice it's just practice I always just um, I'm on the video it's backwards but I'm very right-handed and so um, I don't know Victoria hasn't hasn't mastered that yet no. um, <laughs> you, but you don't really practice you don't love the knife do you nobody